welcome to Chuck's Guitar Geekery. Today I'm checking out the Phoenix Pro PTG-12 wireless unit. This is a very affordable wireless unit. Uh, I think it comes in under $60. You can get it on Amazon or you get it straight from Phoenix Pro. Full disclosure, they're not paying me for this video, but they did send me the unit to check out so I can make some content here. And definitely thank you to Phoenix Pro for that, but they're not paying me for my opinions on this. They told me to be honest. One of the ones where, you know, it's simple. You get the... Make sure I got it right. The receiver and the transmitter, they're both rechargeable. They say it gets four hours. I put that to the test. I actually got about five hours out of a full charge. So that's cool. And they say it gets up to 165 feet of range. I put that to the test also. That's a separate video I did outside earlier this week. So let's switch to that now. So for this test, now I'm going to see how far the range is on it. So hopefully I don't have my monitor outside to really see how the shot is framed, but Playing through this Black Star Fly 3. Have the unit there. Have this here. I'm going to start walking that way. Uh, you can hear some rooster in here too. Maybe I'll serenade the rooster down there and some of my chickens. And I'm pretty sure people driving by on the road are going to think I'm crazy just walking out in my yard playing guitar. But here we are. So let's see how far the range is on this. Now I'll pull that up on uh, Google Earth. I don't know how well this framed is, but it's about where my uh, white dog Darla is there, uh, right around our cherry trees if we just plant it. So let's see how far that is. So really, I got about this far out of that um, based on I just pulled up Google Earth to try to measure the distance. I had the amp sitting in my kid's uh, playground playhouse thing and just walked as far as I could. We'll say that I started to get a little bit of lag, probably about 30, 40 feet out on that test, but for a small stage, if you're in a small room, I would feel more than comfortable playing a gig with this. Then that gets to the next test is how does it sound? Let's just plug this back in and see what it sounds like. So I'm using my Epiphone Les Paul here, but I did test this out with Strat Styles and it will fit in a Strat Style because you can kind of swivel and twirl it around. Fits in there snug and it's on there. And when you turn it on, it connects pretty easy. And it's got 20 channels you can choose from. So if you're getting, getting interference on one, you can choose another one. So let's start clean. Thank you. 
cool thing with the volume feature is if you're switching guitars, you know, between a humbucker and a single coil, and you want still a similar amount of uh, gain coming from your rig, you can adjust the volume on that. So I found I'm not the maximum volume right now. I'm one click below, and that's about where I think a cable is as far as output, which I will compare this to a cable in a moment. But with a volume control on here, this guitar, it's an old Korean made Epiphone, but I've modified it with a guitar fetish electronics and it's got coil tap. So not true single coil, but close enough. So this is in humbucker mode. And single coil, so you can take, pump it up one notch and It'll be similar output to humbucker mode, which I had here. So now let's hear it with some distortion. I got a Perco Rat here. So now I'm going to test the whole uh, single coil versus humbucker volume difference. So once again, maybe I'll kick the volume back one more notch. So the volume is two notches below all the way up on the receiver. Switch to single coil. So that's definitely a nifty feature if you're switching between guitars that have different outputs on them and you want to keep a somewhat similar uh, sound through the night. So that's what it sounds like. I mean, I'm hearing a little bit of humming here. Let's compare it to a cable. compare the noise between this so there is a little bit of hissing here I don't know if that's going to come through to YouTube 
Now back to the cable, there's a little bit of buzzing, but not hissing. So it's kind of trading buzzing for hissing. I don't know which is worse, but in the live setting, I would feel comfortable with the amount of noise that that's putting into the signal. It would just kind of blend into the background at that point. But you know what, just for fun, one more test I'm gonna do here is I have this other cheap wireless. Um, on Amazon, you can look and there's like a thousand different brands that have, I think they all come from the same factory. But this was about a $30 wireless, so. Let's see what that sounds like. So here's the amount of noise a $30 wireless is putting into the signal. $30, the wireless you get adds some a little bit of lag to the signal and you only get about 15 to 20 feet of range out of this And it starts getting a lot more lag once you get you know more than 10 feet away from your receiver So, Back to the Phoenix Pro So back to the Phoenix Pro one more time In conclusion, this wireless, I think, might be the best bang for the buck out there. It gets plenty enough range for any small venue you're going to be playing at. There's no lag. It doesn't add that much noise to it. It does add some. But I feel like when I had the cable, I had buzzing. When I had this, I had uh, hissing. Potatoes, potatoes, you know. <laughs> and for less than 60 bucks, I think, I mean... I like having these around the house just like because my day job I have a desk over there that I'm sitting at and my amp server here I get tangled up in cables all the time this is easy you know just plug it in to charge it when I'm not using it and if I want to noodle about to kill some time during the day when I'm supposed to be working I don't have to worry about cables so so if you want to buy this directly from Phoenix Pro's website if you use promo code guitar geek you get five percent off and then they know I sent you, and if you use the referral link, I get a little kickback on that. So, referral link and Guitar Geek coupon code for 5% off. Help me help you. And I'll also have affiliate links if you want to get it from Amazon, if you just want it, you know, shipped immediately like they do. But anyways, subscribe, thumbs up, you know what to do. See ya.